Mehul Choksi's abduction claim is now falling apart. The fugitive jeweler had named four people who were part of an alleged conspiracy. However, one of them has now rejected all allegations, even promising to cooperate with the police. Take a look at this report. Fraudster Mehul Choksi is currently in a Dominican hospital. He is fighting charges of illegally entering the country. While he remains on trial, Choksi's abduction claim is falling apart. Mehul Choksi, who allegedly escaped from Antigua to Dominica, has claimed that he was assaulted and abducted. He had named four people who were part of the alleged conspiracy. Among them was Hungarian national Barbara Jarabic and Gurjeet Bhandal, a UK resident. Now Gurjeet has rejected Choksi's allegations of being gagged, tortured and given electric shocks. Bhandal has now claimed that he had left Antigua on the morning of May 23rd on a yacht, while Choksi alleged that he was kidnapped in the evening. The 50-year-old British Indian has also claimed that he had gone sailing with his friend Gurmeet Singh, also named by Choksi. Bhandal has now promised to cooperate with the investigation. Meanwhile, in India, the Enforcement Directorate is set to file a charge sheet against Choksi's wife Preeti, alleging that she was a beneficiary of few offshore firms which were allegedly created and used for laundering money. Sources say the investigators are in possession of evidence that show the money defrauding from Punjab National Bank through letter of understandings were routed through shell companies linked to Preeti Choksi. This even as Preeti Choksi, while speaking to India today, had denied all charges against her husband. I fail to understand why his name was included. And I believe the press should have investigated this. Also, the CBI should have investigated this. I believe in that charge sheet, my husband is not charged with anything because he was not ever involved with Mir of Modi. We had no business transaction with Mir of Modi. With his alibis being shattered, will Choksi finally be sent back to India? Bureau report, India Today. India Today has scooped details now of Choksi's legal strategy. The PNB scam accused has now approached Scotland Yard to investigate his alleged abduction. Four UK residents, including Barbara Jarabika, have been accused by Choksi of having tortured and then kidnapped him. Ashish Ray from London with this report. On the 7th of June in London, human rights lawyer Michael Polak lodged a complaint with the British police. He accused four UK residents of abducting and torturing Indian-born Antiguan diamond merchant Mehul Choksi in the Caribbean. 31-year-old Hungarian Barbara Jarabika, who lives in London. 63-year-old Indian Gurmeet Singh, who lives in Birmingham. 50-year-old British Indian Gurjeet Singh Bhandal, who also lives in London and 45-year-old diplomat of Indian origin from St. Kitts and Nevis, Gurdeep Bath, who lives in London as well. The complaint says Choksi was lured to Jarabik's flat in Antigua, where he was kidnapped and taken on a boat to Dominica. The complaint alleges he was bound and gagged, his head covered with a bag, and also that he was beaten, given electric shocks, and threatened with a knife. Supporting the complaint were documents of the four accused travelling together on the same flights from London to the Caribbean and between Antigua and Dominica. Under Britain's universal jurisdiction law, a person who has committed an offence like torture, even if abroad, can be arrested and prosecuted in the UK. On the 8th of June, Edwin Callister, Detective Sergeant at Scotland Yard's War Crimes Unit, acknowledged receipt of Michael Polak's complaint. She also confirmed an officer had been put on the case to examine the allegations. Mehul Choksi acquired citizenship of Antigua and Barbuda in 2017. 
In 2018, he was charged with defrauding the Punjab National Bank to the tune of 13,500 crore rupees. The Indian government has been attempting to extradite Mehul Choksi ever since. At India's request, Interpol issued a red corner notice for his arrest. But as an Antiguan national, he's protected from being deported unless overruled by a court. The final court of appeal for Antigua is the Privy Council in London. Britain's Queen Elizabeth is still the island's head of state. With Ashish Ray in London, Bureau Report, India Today. For weeks now, a mystery woman, Barbara, has been at the center of Mehul Choksi's Dominican saga. India Today is the first channel to have tracked her down and Choksi had accused her, basically, of being part of the plot to kidnap him. Now she breaks her silence and this is an India Today World exclusive. Listen in to what does she have to say. Barbara Jarabika. She's been the mystery woman at the center of the Mehul Choksi Dominica drama. Accused of abduction and honey trap by the PNB fraud accused, Barbara has broken her silence for the first time. India Today is the first television channel to track down Mehul Choksi's alleged girlfriend. And she has shredded Choksi's defense apart. Barbara tells India today that it was Mehul Choksi who initiated a friendship with her. In the last day when we meant to uh, check out from the Airbnb, then uh, we're looking for the property manager to, you know, to leave the key to check out uh, from the accommodation. Mr. Choksi, who uh, I knew him uh, till last week as Raj, he offered that uh, we can leave the apartment open or, or give him the key, don't worry about it, because he is also, he's like a, a, a person in charge there or shareholder there in that uh, harbor island. Barbara reveals that the man wanted in India for the over 13,000 crore rupee scam introduced himself to her not as Mehul Choksi, but as Raj. From day one, he introduced himself as Raj, and he always texted me as his Raj. And even in people in the island, like, you know, in the restaurants and his staff and people, how everyone calls him Raj. So no one actually knew his real name. Choksi's alleged girlfriend says that he offered to start a jewelry business with her and began flirting. April, he gave me, uh, well, he said it was a diamond. Uh, he gave me a diamond bracelet. And more and more, he started to, you know, like, become like daily messages, then three times a day. Then he told me that he, he likes me a lot and, uh, and I'm his soulmate. We had, like, coffee meeting. We had evening walks. We had dinner. She even claims the fraudster Diamond Dare gifted her a fake diamond ring. He did start to like me more and more. So actually in May, uh, when we were meeting in his office, he gave me also uh, a ring. Well, he did say diamond ring, but yesterday after reading all this crap, I went to jewelry shop and uh, they checked the ring and the bracelet and they said it's, it's, it's a great replica, but it's not diamond. And then what happened in May that um, in the office, uh, he wanted to kiss me and... Uh, and I certainly, I rejected him. India Today has also accessed snapshots of WhatsApp conversations between Choksi and Barbara. In the chats, Choksi is seen wooing her, saying he can never be upset with her and that it was actually love at first sight. The conversation also shows Choksi pleading with Barbara to come back, calling her the most fun on this beautiful island. Another chat shows Choksi sending Barbara virtual kisses. But now love seems to have been lost between Barbara and Mehul Choksi. Choksi has alleged that Barbara was part of the plot to abduct him, a claim vehemently denied by her. If I would be an agent or kidnapper, it just again doesn't make sense. Why would I do it under my own name on my own apartment in the daytime, the busiest time of the day? That's one thing, right? The phone conversations and WhatsApp chats nail Mehul Choksi's lies and his defense now lies completely demolished. The mystery woman in the Mehul Choksi case has broken her silence. She has responded to the allegations made by the Choksi family and revealed that it was Mehul Choksi 
who first approached her and begged her to return to the Caribbean islands from Europe. These allegations have come at a time when the Choksi family has decided to take an aggressive legal recourse. In New Delhi, this is Ankit Kumar for India Today. Arbra Jarabika has told India Today that it was Choksi who initiated a friendship with her, flirted with her, even attempted to kiss her. But the PNB scam accused, however, has accused her of being a part of a conspiracy to abduct him. Choksi claims that while he was being attacked, Barbara did not even try to help him out in any way. A walk on the beach with a woman turned into a nightmare for Mehul Choksi. The mystery surrounding the woman, Barbara reported to be the one Choksi allegedly went on romantic getaway with is only deepening. Fighting to avoid extradition to India, bruised and battered Mehul Choksi has now levelled scathing allegations against the mystery woman Barbara. In a letter to Antiguan police, Choksi has claimed he was lured and abducted from Antigua. Choksi has alleged that while he was being abducted and beaten by his captors, the woman, Barbara Jabaraka, did not even attempt to help him by either calling for assistance from outside or contacting the police. Choksi claimed that the woman was allegedly an integral part of the entire conspiracy to abduct him. She and her girlfriend or boyfriend had taken a house very near to our house in August of last year, from 2nd August to 7th of August. And at that time, when my husband would go for a walk, they and or she would join like a normal walking thing. And other people also knew her because the walkers know each other. Choksi's family has been repeatedly claiming threat to his life. So that there was always this fear that there is a threat to his life. Tell me, if you want to abduct someone and you want them to stand trial and face justice, do you need to torture them? Choksi has now been remanded to a hospital in Dominica. India today confronted the fugitive, but he did not respond. How are you doing, Mr. Choksi? How are you doing? India today, how are you? The diamond tear has been repeatedly claiming that he is now an Antiguan citizen. But the Dominican Prime Minister does not agree. The matter with this Indian citizen is before the courts. Um, the court will decide. Uh, what happens to, to the gentleman and we allow the court process to go through and I, I do not like to get involved uh, by, making, by making statements publicly on this matter. And... Was Choksi indeed a victim of an abduction plot or is there more to this Dominican mystery than meets the eye? With Arvind Ojha and Nalini Sharma from Delhi and Carlisle No Baptiste from Dominica, Bureau Report, India.